It had looked a textbook launch for the world's most powerful rocket. But then, a little over eight minutes into the test flight, with Starship 90 miles above the planet, it had a catastrophic failure. Oh my gosh, again. Destabilized by the engine cutout, the rocket started to tumble and then exploded with fiery debris streaking across the sky. The second unsuccessful launch in as many months. This space scientist says the rocket is a long way from being ready to land astronauts on the moon as planned in just two years. It's quite over optimistic in many ways. It's not unusual to have consecutive failures, but I think having a reliable enough rocket to take humans into space on that time scale is really going to be a, a big ask because you need to push that reliability very, very close to 100%. Here we're only up to eight launchers. That's not enough to really learn all the ins and outs of how this system is going to work and perhaps more importantly, how it might fail. SpaceX had already made engineering upgrades to Starship after the failure of the test flight in January. It will pore over data from the latest explosion to work out what went wrong. But Elon Musk, its founder, has been busy with his new government efficiency role in the Trump administration. Has he taken his eye off the ball? I'm sure Elon uh, personally will be paying more attention and getting more involved. Again, if this is not one person makes this work. Um, this is a whole team, and the leadership of the team that I know is at, back at Hawthorne and SpaceX and at their test sites um, are some of the best engineers I know uh, and some of the most thorough engineers I know, and I am sure they will figure it out. Whoa. The United States wants to beat China back to the moon, but Musk's mega rocket still needs to overcome enormous engineering challenges to make that happen. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Leicester.